body movements learning about body movements today we are going to study body movements come on let us sit absolutely still and observe the movements taking place in our body we are blinking our eyes time to time Observe the movements in our body as we breathe. There are so many movements that happen in our bodies. When a person is cooking food, he is moving his hands. Or when he turns and look at his friends, there is movement of his neck. Different parts of our body move while we remain at the same place. We also move from one place to another. We get up and go to our teacher or to the school bus or home after the school. We walk, run, jump and move from place to place. All these movements which are done by us in our daily routine are known as body movements. Human body and its movements Let us study closely some of our own movements to begin with before looking at all these varieties of movements in animals. We all enjoy doing physical exercise at school. We move our hands and legs while doing different exercises. Our body is capable of doing so many movements such as we rotate our arms at the shoulder in a circular movement without moving our shoulders let us lie down and rotate our leg at the hip bend our arm at the elbow and the leg at the knee stretch our arm sideways bend our arm to touch our shoulder with our fingers in all these exercises our legs hands arms fingers hips elbow and the knee are making the movements we moved the arms from our elbow if we straighten our arm and try to bend it downwards we are not able to do it we are able to rotate completely our neck wrist head and arm we can bend our neck fingers knee back and elbow we can lift things with our hands our eyes nose mouth and ears do not move at all we are able to move a few parts of our body easily in various directions and some only in one direction we are unable to move some parts we are able to bend or rotate our body in places where two parts of our body seem to be joined together like elbow shoulder neck knee fingers wrist etc these places are called joints if our body has no joints it would not have been possible for us to move in any way at all If you press your fingers against the top of your head, face, neck, nose, ear, back of the shoulder, hands and legs including the fingers and toes, you will feel of something hard pressing against your fingers. The hard structures are the bones. Bones cannot be bent. So, how do we bend our elbow? It is not only one bone from the upper arm to our wrist. It is different bones joined together at the elbow. Similarly, there are many bones present in each part of the body. We can bend or move our body only at those points where bones meet. There are different types of joints in our body to help us carry out different movements and activities. Let us learn about some of them. Ball and socket joints. Our arm is like paper cylinder and the ball is its end. 
The ball is like the part of the shoulder to which your arm is joined. The rounded end of one bone fits into the cavity, hollow space of the other bone. Such a joint allows movements in all directions. Our arm can rotate a complete circle in its ball and socket joint. Pivotal joint The joint where our neck joins the head is a pivotal joint. It allows us to bend our head forward and backward and turn the head to our right or left. In a pivotal joint, a cylindrical bone rotates in a ring. Hinge joints Open and close the door a few times. Observe the hinges of the door carefully. They allow the door to move back and forth. The elbow and the knee has a hinge joint that allows only a back and a forth movement. Fixed joints There are some bones in our head that are joined all together at some joints. The bones cannot move at these joints. Such joints are called fixed joints. If we open our mouth wide, we can move our lower jaw away from our head. But if we try to move our upper jaw, we are not able to move it. There is a joint between the upper jaw and the rest of the head, which is a fixed joint. Bones gives the different part of the body their different shapes. All the bones in our body form a framework to give a shape to our body. This framework is called a skeleton. We can have some idea about the shape and number of bones in some part of our body by feeling them. One way we could know this shape better would be to look at X-ray images of the human body. Sometimes when we are hurt or have an accident, doctors use these X-ray images to find out about any possible injuries that might have happened to the bones. The X-rays show the shapes of the bones in our body. If we bend our fingers, we are able to bend them at every joint. Back of our palm seems to have many bones. Our wrist is flexible. It is made up of several small bones. We see that the ribs are curiously bent. They join at the chest bone and the backbone together to form a box. This box is called the rib cage. Some important internal parts of our body lie protected inside this cage. Our backbone starts from the neck and moves downwards till our hips. Our backbone is made up of some long and hard structure made up of many small bones. The ribcage is joined to these bones. If our backbone were made up of only one long bone, we could not bend. When we press our hands against the wall, we can see two bones standing where our shoulders are. They are called as shoulder bones. The part on which we sit is our pelvic bone. They enclose the portion of our body below the stomach. This structure is made up of pelvic bones. The skull is made up of many bones joined together. It encloses and protects a very important part of the body, the brain. There are some additional parts of the skeleton that are not as hard as the bones and which can be bent. These are called cartilage. The upper parts of the ear that is not as soft as the ear lobe but not as hard as the bone is a cartilage. Cartilage is also found in the joints of the body.
we have seen that our skeleton is made up of many bones, joints and cartilage. We studied bend and move of many of them. We have learnt about the bones in our body and about joints that help us move in different ways. The bones move the way they do with the help of muscles. Muscles work in pairs. When one of them contracts, the bone is pulled in that direction. The other muscle of the pair relaxes. When contracted, the muscle becomes shorter, stiffer and thicker. It pulls the bone. To move the bone in the opposite direction, the relaxed muscle contracts to pull the bone towards its original position while the first relaxes. A muscle can only pull. It cannot push. Thus, two muscles have to work all together to move a bone. Muscles and bones are always required for body movements. We can observe similar contraction of muscles in our leg when we walk or run. Summary Bones and cartilage form the skeleton of the human body. It gives the frame and shape to the body and helps in movement. It protects the inner organs. The skeleton comprises of the skull, the backbone, ribs and the breastbone, shoulder and hip bones and the bones of hands and legs. The bones are moved by alternate contractions and relaxations of two sets of muscles. The bone joints are of various kinds depending on the nature of joints and direction of movement they allow. Let us further study about body movements of animals in our next subtopic.